Okay. Sorry. Great. No, that's that good. Co that coffee shop is soup is always very quiet. Like nobody's ever in it. And then today it was so busy. And then somebody came and sat right back down beside me. And so, and yeah. my house, we have a snow day at my house because we just had like, I'm in the States and we just had tons of snow. So everybody's home. My family home today at the house. So I was like, well, I'll just go to the coffee shop, the quiet one anyway. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. because you, you don't need to um, worry about the, the, the other customers overhearing our conversation because sometimes it goes in a slightly strange direction and you don't want them to hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and I, well, it's like, I just don't want to be thinking about the person that's sitting right next to me, <laughs> you know? Uh, not that it not that it matters maybe he sat there for a reason because he needed to hear the conversation yes. <laughs> he'd have liked to yeah <laughs> but you know so um so yeah I mean I um yeah I've had a lot of some spiritual experiences as a child um um just like uh kind of communicating with animals and um I had a, I had a, um, a close friend who, um, she died of cancer, uh, uh, childhood cancer. And after she died, like I knew she wasn't dead at all. And I had this, um, just playful interaction with her all the time, you know? Mm. Um, and then I remember one day I saw a picture of her. It was like years later and I saw a picture of her and I didn't recognize her. Cause I was like, that's not the person that I, like I saw a picture of her body and I completely forgot what she looked like. Mm. Cause she, you know, wore a wig and she lost one of her arms that they amputated oh. to cancer. And I was like, she doesn't look like that at all. And I remember being like unable, like just shocked that I didn't recognize her in the picture, but I was, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I just, yeah, I just feel like I've been always like, I'm always like a perceiver and like, yes. I'm just always like very aware as a kid, I was just very aware of the environment. I was very aware of like what was not being said and yes. yeah. So that's great. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Have you felt as though you're not quite native to planet Earth, that you're kind of more of a visitor? Do you have that feeling? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I've been told that actually before. Um, yeah. And somebody described it to me. It's kind of like you're wearing um, clothes that just don't fit right. And so you're always just a bit like this yeah. doesn't feel quite comfortable <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah so. that's good that's i'm sure that's the case actually but anyway let's have a look at realization and see what we can do okay that would be great so have you seen any of the demonstrations i've done on um on the distinction well are you familiar with the idea of the koshas uh-uh okay no that's okay well, what we'll do um, initially is... Um, you know, I just like intuitively um, watched even... I've only probably only see, have seen like a couple of your videos, but I just always act in extremely intuitively. When great. Like, That's really good. So I didn't even need to... I, I didn't know. I was like, nope, I need to talk to him. Like it was literally probably... Thing. sorry i just lost the sound there a little bit oh i said um i didn't get into a deep dive of all of your stuff because i just knew intuitively um intuitively like within 10 minutes of just watching um you know one of the videos <laughs> yeah right. so what i'd like to do to begin with is just quite a simple exercise really just to show the starting point because we all we all remain as attributeless being really that you know we have these characters but um attributeless being or attributeless awareness is what we remain as so could you just close the eyes for a moment mm -hmm. okay and just focus on the back of the eyelids and 
just notice that there's a sense of existence and a sense of aliveness, which has always been here, um, a sense of presence. And when Kylie Ann was even less than two years old, the the awareness that's present in this moment was exactly the same um, as it is now, which is just, it's really awareness aware of itself. So we've been conditioned to believe that awareness belongs to the individual when actually it's remained as infinite awareness. And so it seems as though there's something we need to find, but actually what's your fully aware of in this moment is your true nature, which is just the simplicity of awareness aware of itself. So it's the it's the awareness of the infinite being rather than the the awareness of the individual. And so once we see that, we realize that there isn't actually anything missing in terms of realization. Okay, you could just open the eyes for a moment. Mm -hmm. And so, so yeah, the simplicity of awareness is really, well, in, in India, they use terms, um, the terms Rishi, Devita and Chandas. And those terms mean the knower, the means of knowing and the known. So the knower is awareness, the, the means of knowing is awareness, and what is known is awareness. But the way we experience is in a disguised version. So a dis an example of a disguised version would be Kylie Ann having a cup of coffee. So, so the knower, which is awareness, is disguised as Kylie Ann. The means of knowing is the sense of taste and what is known is the coffee. But it's always actually awareness aware of itself. It's just that that's a disguised version. And we, we, we're playing this game, really, which is where we have these different um, modes of experience available. So in, in India, they have this idea of the koshas, which is the, there are, there are five bodies. The first one is the body of bliss. The second one is the body of wisdom. The third one is the mental body. The fourth one is the etheric body or the emotional body. And the, the fifth one is the physical body. So the way experience is manifest is that we, we remain as awareness aware of itself, but we take on these different disguises. So the first one, um, which is the body of bliss, and you seem someone who there's this very light and joyful feeling you know that i sense with you you know that you you have a very light frequency and um so you may well have experienced pure bliss in you know in many ways especially through childhood so 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 bliss is the first thing that becomes available to us so it's it's the possibility of experiencing in, infinite bliss and then the the second one is called the body of wisdom um and that's that's really the intuitive realm so you've you've maintained the ability to function through the body of wisdom uh and you know successfully right through your life um whereas lots of people lose that because we're sorry. You, I lost you there for a second. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so so yes, yeah, so, um for most people they lose the ability to experience through the body of wisdom um well consciously um from quite an early age because we're programmed to do that because the 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 mind, the mental realm predominates. So when Kylie Ann was a little girl, say well, less than the age of two, there would have just been functioning in either the body of bliss or in the body of wisdom. And the way that looks is it's just effortless being. So, so say um, 
you know, say the body mind was just at home. And then so there are certain things that could be arising in the moment. So there could be the sound of rain falling or there could be the sound of the TV or the sound of family members or um, the sound of birds in, in the trees or, you know, of animals or people outside. Um, there could be thoughts arising or sensations and um, just really, you know, bodily sensations. There could be a feeling of, of hunger or a feeling of tiredness. And initially, it's just effortless awareness of those forms appearing. So, so awareness, um, in terms of the body of wisdom, is more like a field of awareness. It's like an ocean of awareness within which everything is appearing. So you've actually remained as that infinite ocean of awareness. And one of the one of the forms that's appearing within that is the body mind of Kylian. So there is aware so there's awareness of the body mind. There's awareness of the thoughts, there's awareness of the emotions, of the sensations. And in this moment, there is still just awareness of all those forms appearing effortlessly so if we don't engage the mind we can just notice forms arising effortlessly in this moment so there's awareness of the sun shining through the windscreen there's awareness of the clothing there's awareness of sitting on the seat of awareness of being in the vehicle and it's all, all of those things are just effortlessly known and we can cultivate the ability to function from the body of wisdom quite easily because it's just what is effortless. So if we if we just look at the moment, well, in this moment, at what's arising effortlessly. So are there any thoughts arising effortlessly? Um, you know, what I just like realized is um, that... I hadn't realized before, but I feel that that I I think what's actually been holding me back from complete awareness is that um, this thought that in the background that I didn't realize that it's wrong, you know, that there's something wrong with me going on this path, you know. Yes. Like okay. I never realized that. Before. Yeah, that's quite, that's quite a And common. that's what's holding me back. I was like, oh, it's not wrong. No, absolutely. Because even in my, like, you know, talking to you, trying to find a quiet place, not be, want to be open in the coffee shop, not wanting to be at home talking to you or my family, you know, my kid and husband is, you know, it's like, I totally realized that's like this piece that's holding me back yeah that's really interesting yeah that's good well the thing to the thing to notice is that that is just a that's just a thought that's appearing effortlessly it isn't actually it doesn't actually belong to kylie Ann. it's actually being projected into the mind as an invitation for you to believe to be true when really it isn't true and you can just mm -hmm. be effortlessly aware of it. So as there can be effortless, neutral awareness of the sun coming through the window or effortless awareness of the two voices in conversation, there can also be effortless awareness of, the, of those thoughts appearing. Mm -hmm. And when we, when we see it in that way, when we're just able to, to be aware of the thoughts, rather than personalizing them and feeling that they're ours mm -hmm. then we become free energetically from them because it's the personalization that actually plugs us in energetically and, and that affects the mental realm and the emotional and the physical realm actually so mm -hmm. uh, but just seeing very simply in this moment as you did there's the effortless arising of form so are there any thought, any thoughts arising effortlessly in this moment? I just was realizing how it came about, but I just realized it, but I didn't believe it or feel, you know, it just, yeah. I just realized, oh, that was something that was there that I was 
but in the moment when I realized it, I realized it wasn't mine. Right. I just realized, I just realized I had been thinking it was mine. Yes. You know, that's fantastic. Well, that really, that, that actually is realization because what you're seeing is that you're this open space of awareness within all forms appear. And one of the forms yeah. appearing as an invitation is the thought oh, there's something wrong with this, or there's, you know, yeah. whatever the other uh, invitations into limitation. But actually, all along, you've just remained as this open space of awareness within which forms are appearing, and you're totally free of the content that's arising, whether it's thoughts or emotions or sensations. So are there any emotions arising at the moment? Yeah, I mean, I keep um, feeling like this like emotion of like wanting to just like release because I feel it feels so good like right. a crying release yeah even when you had me close my eyes for the moment I almost like it just like was trying to like move up and out <laughs> I felt like <laughs> yeah. That's good. yeah That's good. I was just like oh I just like what a release yeah that's really good well what I'd like to do is just to um, just let's just have a look at the emotion then, just um, that feeling that's arising. So, again, it's actually arising as an invitation. It doesn't belong to Kylie Ann. It doesn't belong to the infinite being that you really are. Again, it's an invitation for you to identify with that emotion. And when you when you just see it in that way, you can just you can just observe it rather than identifying with it yeah so when you just you just so just effortlessly notice that sensation so um one of the things that ties us into um personalization is the language we use because everything in this world is trying to get us to personalize our experience so yeah so if we let's take the example of the emotions. So the way we've been conditioned to to communicate, it would be to say, oh, I have this feeling that, you know, I'd like to release and I can feel it in my heart area. And, you know, it would be nice just to let it go. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's a personalized version, whereas mm -hmm. what you can do is you can revert to the simplest form, which is just awareness, aware of the emotion. And you can look at it in that way. So rather than feeling that it's Kylie Ann who is aware of the emotion, you can just see that there is awareness which is aware of that emotion. And you don't need to feel as though it's yours. There's just awareness. The awareness is what you are. And then the the form that's appearing is just like it's like a little wave on the ocean of awareness. And that just arises. And there's just effortless awareness of that. Mm -hmm. so we can so we can we can be aware of that emotion without personalizing it because it's the personalization which makes it feel as though it's ours and it's the personalization which it plugs our energy supply into that emotion and it kind mm -hmm. of fuels it so that that emotion can seem quite powerful but it's only because we've been told that that emotion is ours but when you just when you just effortlessly observe it, then you're you're actually observing it from effortless being from the body of wisdom. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like you to do, just again, just effortlessly notice that um, that feeling, that emotion, just for mm -hmm. a second, and then I'd like you just to comment on it in some way, just either comment on it or describe it in some way. Well, every time, um, every time you say that it's awareness that is aware of the feeling and that I am awareness, like right now, it's like, I just feel like so <laughs> like, I want to cry happy, like, a f like, not that, like, so good. Fantastic. I don't know how to even describe it. Like, it just, <laughs> the only thing my body, this 
Vessel wants to do is like just cry, but it's like really good. Cry- like, yeah. fantastic. It's really good. <laughs> great. That's great. Well, just um, just see that distinction because the the awareness that's aware of the emotion is actually impersonal awareness and it's neutral awareness. So there's just impersonal awareness. So when so when Kylie Ann was a little girl, there was just impersonal, effortless awareness of the forms appearing. And that's how it is in this moment. So there's just impersonal, effortless awareness of the emotion. It doesn't belong to you. It's like a little wave on the infinite ocean of awareness, which you've just yeah. remained on. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. But mm-hmm. then you can move into the conditioned mode which is the mental realm so you move from the body of wisdom into the mental body and then we conceptualize it so we describe it so you know we can say things like oh i have this emotion in my body and you know it feels really good or it's you know and it's so it's a personalized description but actually we know that's only a mode because infinite awareness which is what you've always remained as is like the actor and then Kylie Ann is the character that's being portrayed. So the actor, which is the infinite being, which is what she've always remained as, never actually became Kylie Ann. Kylie Ann. Oh, yeah. Kylie Ann is the character that's being played. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so <laughs> I'm sorry now I feel like I can't stop laughing oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah exactly that makes so much sense now <laughs> oh my gosh I'm like laughing crying fantastic oh But then you think you're the character. Oh wow. You're not right. the yeah. character. <laughs> Everything in this world, you know, who's tried to convince you that you are this character. Because when okay. when Kylie Ann was a little girl, there was just effortless awareness of the body mind yeah. of the little child. You know, so mm-hmm. the body mind of Kylie Ann may have been sat on the carpet and there was just effortless neutral awareness of what's arising so the sound of family members or you know the sound of the tv or the texture of toys or whatever's just effortlessly arising but there was just awareness of it and so there was awareness of the there was awareness of the body mind and the body mind was actually seen to belong to the three-dimensional realm so it's like it is in this moment there's awareness of the phone screen there's awareness of the two voices in conversation there's awareness of yeah. the on the seat. There's awareness of the vehicle, of, you know, of the other cars in the car park. And all that's effortlessly known. And and so seeing that the physical body mind belongs to this three-dimensional realm, whereas you just remain as the awareness that's aware of all of those forms. And you never became Kylie Ann. You've just remained as this open space of awareness. That's all you've ever been. Yeah. Uh, and that gets to decide, the actor gets to decide what kind of character you yeah. know. Yeah. You want... Yes, well, everything yeah. has tried to convince you you know, that you are a human being in time and space. So yeah, it starts with an invitation. So your parents, you know, you were just infinite awareness that's aware of all these forms, including awareness of the body mind that had been called Kylie Ann and awareness of the thoughts, awareness of the emotions. And that awareness, you know, is just totally present and it's just here. Mm-hmm. But there was an invitation to play this game of duality Mm-hmm. Which, which that invitation comes mainly from family members originally. So 
your mum mm -hmm. and dad would be saying, oh, here's our beautiful little girl, Kylie Ann. You know, she mm -hmm. likes playing with her dollies or she likes playing in the sandpit or, she, you know, and she mm -hmm. likes eating this kind of food. And so your infinite awareness, just listening them, to them saying this, and, mm -hmm. and they're trying to they're trying to get you to identify with the body mind as though it really is you. And at some point you kind of give into it. So you're just aware that they're inviting you in to play this game where you have to pretend it's like a game of pretend. Yeah. You know that you're this infinite open space of awareness. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to get you to play this game as though you really are this little girl called Kylie Ann. So they mm -hmm. say, oh, what would you like to eat? What would you like to do? And, mm -hmm. then, and then so you start responding as though, as though you are this little girl. And, and then, you know, you go to school and your name is on the register and then they call your name and you have to respond as though you are called Kylie Ann. Mm -hmm. And then everyone you meet, you know, all your friends, they're all convinced that they're really these, you know, Little mm -hmm. boys and girls and um <laughs> and the whole thing just goes on like that and then we mm -hmm. you know the mind begins to predominate so that through the early years say the early teen years we're you know we're identifying with the drama and it becomes quite competitive then and then we have mm -hmm. to think of you know what we want to do with our life and all of these sort of things and it's all on the mental level mm -hmm. but it's all all of that really is in the play so you know, you've been starring in this play called The Life and Times of Kylie Ann. Mm -hmm. um, but actually, you're the actor, which is the infinite being, infinite awareness. And you mm -hmm. never actually became Kylie Ann. You can play the role really well. You know, you have the role yeah. of being Kylie Ann, you know, which is there's the role of being your parent's daughter. There's the role mm -hmm. of being the mum to your child or to the wife, mm -hmm. your husband. And mm -hmm. And so all those roles are available and you play them all really proficiently. Mm -hmm. But we can we can just see how if you need a reminder of the truth of what you are, you can just change the language in a way. So. So, for instance, um, if we if we take. If if we take um, well, let's take. Sipping the coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so the impersonal version is there is awareness of the taste of the coffee or there mm -hmm. is awareness of the cup being presented to the mouth. Mm -hmm. So that's the impersonal mode. Mm -hmm. So everything really remains as impersonal awareness. There is always only just impersonal awareness of what's appearing. And then, mm -hmm. and then we can step into the character. So the personal version would be Oh, I, I came to this cafe because it's very quiet. I would like it here. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been before. It's, you know, it's somewhere where I can just have a quiet conversation. The coffee is mm -hmm. okay as well. And and then, so that's in the story of Kylie Ann. Mm -hmm. But what's actually happening always, the only thing that's ever happening is that awareness is aware of itself. And that awareness is just neutrally and effortlessly aware of whatever's appearing so mm -hmm. so there's just effortless awareness of the coffee so there is there's just awareness of the coffee there's awareness of the of feeling the cup in the mm -hmm. hand so the oh. so we can we can we can remind ourselves just by changing the language we use um but we only do it with ourselves because if you say you went home and your husband said oh shall we have something to eat now um, yeah if you said there is there's awareness of something in the refrigerator <laughs> <laughs> um, it sounds a bit strange but you can you can use impersonal language just to remind yourself that because what mm. the way it works is you can just check it out to a yeah. notice that any time of the day or night you're just resting as impersonal awareness yeah how do you what's the picture that you have in your head with this you know like the vision the visual well it's like as you i i just think 
yeah, I don't know. I was keep my brain keeps wanting to like kind of come up with a visual to yes. like a visual kind of reminder, you yeah. know? Well, there is quite a good one, which is that if you if you just look out um of the the windscreen of your car and just notice mm -hmm. that there is awareness of all forms appearing. So there's firstly there's awareness of the there's awareness of the body mind. So there's awareness if you look down, you can see the arms and legs of the body mind. Mm -hmm. So there's awareness mm -hmm. of the body mind. The the body mind isn't who you are. Mm -hmm. And it, it's mm -hmm. really the, the visual is that it's like this infinite ocean. So it's like mm -hmm. an infinite ocean of awareness within which everything is appearing. So yeah. in the you know, in the foreground, there is awareness of the body mind sitting on the seat. There's awareness mm -hmm. of thoughts arising. There's awareness of emotions appearing. Mm -hmm. And then there's awareness of the, you know, the other vehicles in the car park. And they're mm -hmm. all of those forms, they're they're arising, um, they they're they're arising as waves on this infinite ocean of of mm. stillness or silence. So it's an infinite ocean of silence, and then things can appear from there. So so there's awareness of these words being spoken, mm -hmm. in, you know, by these two characters, and then there's mm -hmm. awareness of the interior of the car, mm -hmm. and so. So when you just no you just notice that there are no boundaries in awareness, you know, everything mm -hmm. that you're aware of, you know, in the what's the most distant thing that there's awareness of at the moment? The sun. In the ah, sky. the sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the sun is appearing in the awareness um, and it's just appearing effortlessly. So that's that's mm. that's fully that's fully known by awareness so mm -hmm. it's just awareness that is aware of the sun and mm -hmm. the sun is appearing in this infinite ocean of awareness so that's mm. that's the that's the realized the the impersonal um unified way to experience it whereas mm -hmm. the condition mode would be oh i'm sat in my car you know having a coffee and i can see the sun Mm -hmm. so there's that personalized language which we can use and obviously when you're with friends and family you just yeah. <laughs> you you know you just you can just play the character because you're 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 familiar with playing the character so you can have conversations as though you're really you know this lady called yeah. Mary Ann. you can do everything that you've always done but it's yeah. just that you know that it's a character, it's a role that's being played. It isn't it isn't what you are. So um awareness is it like awareness is just like one awareness. Is everybody this one I mean it's the same awareness. Yeah. It is just the it's just the one awareness. So So how do you so when I pick up of like an awareness of pe messages from like people that are not in the body anymore, mm -hmm. like, but that's still coming from the one awareness. Yeah. It's just that the, so the, the five koshas you have the, there's the body of bliss and the body of wisdom, the body of wisdom. So, so attribute is awareness, infinite awareness it's just this open space on which all the forms are being projected. But then you have these five filters, which are the body of bliss, the body of wisdom, the mental body, the emotional body, and the physical body. Mm -hmm. So there are different experiences available within each of those, and it depends on how sensitive you are as to what you experience. So if you're having experiences of other beings in mm -hmm. different realms, they could either be in the etheric um, or the astral realm, or the causal realm, um, which is the, the 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 etheric realm is the emotional, the astral mm -hmm. is the mental, and the causal is the body of wisdom. So there's still just awareness of those forms, and they're mm -hmm. still appearing in in awareness. It's it just depends on the filter um, that you're looking through, really. Mm -hmm. so for for mm -hmm. most people 
when the when the physical body appears they identify with that and they feel that everything they, they feel that the physical realm is primary and then there are things mm-hmm. like thoughts and emotions that we have as well mm-hmm. but but as we as we notice the way awareness works we we see that the physical isn't primary the, the physical is the most gross in a way and you're really mm-hmm. lucky that you've maintained the ability to experience um you know in more subtle ways you haven't lost the ability mm-hmm. to lose you know they lost the ability to experience it in in uh, in those subtle realms mm-hmm. but it's good just to you know any time of the day or night um and you only need to do this i mean what's clear is that you've seen really very easily that mm-hmm. you awareness that is aware of everything that's appearing mm-hmm. and that it's totally effortless and and so <laughs> so that's just that that's just fully known and yeah but, but you can if the mind comes in because the, what the mind can do is the mind can come in with invitations to try to bring doubt in about that because it wants to in, the yeah. mind wants to invite you back into the game to say yeah. well, of course you're Kylie Ann you know who, who do you think you are you know all these, mm-hmm. um but the the way just to remind yourself is just in a really subtle way so the way you do that is you can just stop in any moment and you just notice to see what is arising effortlessly in any moment. Because when you do that, you just you, you just see that everything is arising in this timeless moment. Yeah. So you can just let's do it now. So it's yeah. So there's just effortless awareness of some thoughts appearing. Yeah. And there's effortless awareness of some emotions yeah there's effortless awareness of the two voices and Mm -hmm. so so we've been told that the one voice belongs to kylie ann and the other one belongs to david but actually Mm -hmm. those those sounds are like waves appearing on the same ocean there's just this infinite ocean of awareness so so it's so the sound of Kylie Ann's voice is fully known and the sound of David's voice is fully known and they're both known equally by awareness. Oh. So what, what does, where does intuition come in? This is blowing my mind right now because oh, it's just, yeah, I'm taking time to digest, but this is a, a, amazing. But then what's the voice of like, or the feeling or whatever of intuition? Well, intuition, intuition arises in the body of wisdom. So the body of wisdom is really where, the, where we should. And is the body of wisdom like the infinite, that's the awareness? Yes. Well, it's, okay. It, it's the body of wisdom is a slight amendment. So. Um, what we remain as is attributeless awareness, but the body of wisdom. So, it, so in attributeless awareness, because attributeless awareness is a field of infinite possibilities, it's just um, awareness aware of itself. So, when we did that little exercise at the start of our conversation, it's just awareness aware of itself. But then, the the body of wisdom is where there is awareness of all forms arising equally and effortlessly so so in the body of wisdom we can we can we're still still in alignment with our infinite nature so there's still infinite awareness but rather than that infinite awareness simply being aware of itself it's aware of an infinite number of forms so in this moment there is effortless awareness of all the forms that are appearing in this moment so there's awareness of the conversation there's awareness of thoughts awareness of emotions awareness of the body mind sitting on the seat awareness of the sun in the sky awareness of the vehicles the the awareness of the buildings the awareness of the landscape and all of those forms are effortlessly known and they're known directly by awareness. So it's a self-contained 
awareness in the body of wisdom and it's neutral so there isn't any there's no judgment in the body of wisdom so it's just that there is there's awareness of the sun in the sky so mm -hmm. if we take let's take the example let's take the example of the sun in the, the sky just to show the distinction between mm -hmm. the body of wisdom and the mental body so there's effortless awareness of the sun in the sky. So if you just you just notice the sun in the sky, there, there isn't anything you need to do to try to make that appear. There's just awareness of, of that. Yeah. But then, but then we can comment on it or describe it. So mm -hmm. if we move from effortless awareness into the mental body, we engage the mind then. And engaging the mind is like engaging the gears in your vehicle. So you... You kind of got you engage the mind and then you come up with a little commentary or a description of the sun. So it could be something like, oh, it, I like this car park here, you know, because you can see the sun. It's really nice to feel the warmth of the sun on my face as I'm sitting here. And mm -hmm. you know, so that's a sort of personalized little story to do with the sun. But, mm -hmm. what, but what is effortlessly known is just the the image of the sun in the sky so there's there's effortless awareness of the sun in the sky there's effortless awareness of the warmth of the sun on the face as it comes through the windscreen mm -hmm. they're all effortlessly known so as long as it's effortless and neut neutral it's the body of wisdom and and it's the body of wisdom where all intuition arises so you're you're really lucky the reason we're having this conversation is because you've maintained the ability to function through the body of wisdom and your intuitive faculty has been maintained because mm -hmm. you haven't um you haven't been drawn into the mental realm too much you know with with the education system for instance because you're still like a little fairy really you know you, I know I know <laughs> you never really became part of this world uh uh I know I didn't I know and that's <laughs> why <laughs> and so so that's why you know it seems yeah. you, in, in a way you have to make more effort to be in this world because it doesn't feel like I do, yes thank you that describes it perfectly <laughs> <laughs> you have to really try hard to play this role I do Kalyan, because I... you know that it's not really who you are but you are <laughs> yes but the benefit of realization is that it is that you begin to function from effortless being because we've been playing a little game of hide and seek, which is that everything in the world has told us that for things to work, it requires a lot of effort. Yeah. What you begin to realize, though, is that when you just function from your intuition and from the body of wisdom, then things work out for you because it's the things that are delivered to you effortlessly in the cognitions you have. Like I can sense in our conversation, there's just been this clarity that's come in and it's, you know, it's really, you know, but the ability to function in that way where you're functioning, where you're maintaining neutrality and, yeah. and remaining as impersonal awareness that's yeah. where you're, that's where your infinite potential is yeah yeah <laughs> i just i just yeah it's just like i, I just want to laugh it's like so and now i'm watching people walk by and stuff and then i'm thinking like their infinite awareness but they there's the character but now i'm seeing their their oh there i'm seeing their oh, infinite awareness and then i'm awareness, yeah. yeah and then i'm seeing their character yeah <laughs> so. it is amazing isn't it really <laughs> it's, amazing little disguise it's so oh i it's I don't even know how to put it in words, but yeah, it's. Well, it's really nice. And now it makes sense as like how, how you don't act, you don't need to. Now the effortless part is fully coming in because it's like you're, it's effortless. It's already in existence, you know, yes. that, that there's. Uh, Effortlessness is the. And now I understand. Really. Yeah. And then how 
the struggle part is you thinking you're the character and that you're playing yeah the character yeah and, and it is completely effortless everything is just wow <laughs> i don't even know how to <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this, is the, this is the funnest conversation i've ever had oh my gosh <laughs> Oh, wow. I don't even know how to describe it. How do you even put this into words? <laughs> yeah, well, it, effortless awareness is 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 nonverbal, really, because it's just yes. it's non-conceptual as well. It's just, it's this open space of awareness without any kind of description or commentary. It's just the pure awareness and the direct knowing. Of yeah. what, is, what is appearing and, and it's it's the the character is overlaid on the experience so while everyone is convinced that they are this character you can see them you can as you say yeah. you can people and you can see that they're the infinite being but yeah. they, they assume this role and they think that it's yes. just hard. and it's this yeah. really big, heavy it's like carrying a great big heavy sack of something that you don't yeah. carry. no not at all. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Now my son is, because um, he's four and a half. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't, I want to show, I'm, he is, but I, he's now forming a character of himself t mm -hmm. now. It's probably but he's but he's mostly still he's mostly still very much awareness like very much and he I feel like when he is playing the character he gets kind of mad <laughs> yes. he well, gets real all, mad when he's like I have to be this character yeah. well because he has you as his mom you've probably safeguarded him from too much identification with the human realm and which is I have a, a and everybody lesson. yeah it's hard for other humans who are playing a character that see my parenting, my, you know, character parenting. Oh, big time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, big time. But I just see like, he's just, um, yeah, he's just so, he's just so happy, you know, he's a ha really happy. Well, he's. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's an amazing kid, and he's very intuitive. He reads my mind. He says stuff before I even. Fantastic. I'll say I think it. He says it all the time, like all the time. Brilliant. He answers questions that I think I'll think a question in my head, and then all of a sudden he's telling me, "No, mom, I don't want to do that," hmm. or "Yes, let's do that." No, this is you know. And I was like, I didn't even say it out loud. I just thought it in my head. Hmm. Hmm. Fantastic. But, yeah. But I don't have to be attached to, yeah, because it's just. Well, you can guide him and it's because the clarity is there for you. It, it'll be very easy just to help maintain him because, well, ma maintain awareness for him because, the, as you say, the character has emerged to some degree. and he, But mm -hmm. that isn't an issue, you know, as long as he knows he's playing this little character, you know, but... Um, in you know they there's a the, the saying you know children they call it the terrible twos and it's because it it's because most children the the identification with the body mind happens around about the age of two and that's when they start throwing all their toys around because their feeling of freedom when they're knowing themselves to be infinite awareness um you know prior to that is um there's just this sense of complete freedom. But then with all of the invitations into identification with the body, with the mind, the senses, um, those, you know, they, they are so restrictive. It, it seems like this massive contraction and it, you feel trapped as though you're existing as this body mind when actually you never were. And, so, you know, like in this moment, you're not the body mind you're not the body mind sitting in the vehicle you're the awareness that's aware of the body mind you're aware of the vehicle you're aware of the sun in the sky you're aware of the people walking by 
but all of those forms are arising within the awareness you've always remained as. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And there's like nothing to do. That's just so cool. <laughs> there's nothing to do. There's nothing you need to do. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. And the mind, so cool. you know, the, the, the mind, there may have been certain, there may, may have been certain invitations, certain frequencies um, which have predominated. So, for instance, you know, with some people it could be fear, with others it could be other things. You, you, you seem pretty well. You're just you're hypersensitive, but mm. also yeah. But also, you can see through the sort of density of this three dimensional realm. So that is, um, you know, that's a real blessing. But it, it, you know, you you once you've seen that you're this infinite awareness rather than the character, then. You, there can sometimes be invitations to try to get you to identify with the character again. So it's just being aware of that. If certain things, you know, thoughts could, can arise or even situations appear, um, which are trying to invite you back into identification, you can never go back because once you've seen that you're infinite awareness, you can never believe, you could never believe that you're Kylie Ann again. No. <laughs> no. Oh no, I know. Yeah, you can't go back. I know. Oh, 